Please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon. Are you all ready to solve the sums along with me? Shall we begin? Here is your first question. The question states the sum is always dash than the number being added except of the numbers being added is and again a dash okay and your options are the first is greater and the second is zero option b less zero option c greater one and option d less one okay let's understand what is the question the sum is always dash than the number being added except of the numbers being added is dash so which means that the sum is always greater than the number being added okay except of the numbers being added is 0. The first two properties that if I add 10 plus 1. So, the sum is always greater than the number being added. So, which means if I add 10 plus 1, my sum is 11. So, naturally 11 is greater than 10. Okay. Except of the numbers being added is 0. So, if I write 10 plus 0, my answer is 10. So, that is the question and the answer. That is the addend and the sum remains the same. Okay. So, your answer here is greater and 0. Okay. Which means option A is the right one. Clear children? So, whenever you get a sum like this, it is better that you try to replace the question with an example. So, it will make your answer very clear. Okay. Shall we move to the next one? Here is your next question. The question states, if we change the order of the numbers being added, The dash does change. And your options are sum option B difference. Option C, multiplication. And option D, division. Okay. So, the question is asking us, if we change the order of the numbers being added, which means it is talking about the third property of addition. Okay. The dash does not change. What does not change? Very good. It is the sum. Even if I shuffle 23 plus 15 or 15 plus 23, my answer remains the same. My sum does not change. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Here is your next question. The question says 0 plus 33 
is equals to dash and your options are 0, option B 33, option C 34 and option D 30. It's very simple, right? So what is 0 plus 33 children? Excellent, it is option B 33. So this is the second rule of addition. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. So here is your next question. The question says, if we add dash to any number, the sum remains the same. And your options are A, 0, B, 1, C, 2, and D, 3. So, if we add dash to any number, the sum remains the same. My answer is the same. So, what is it that I add that my question and the answer is the same? Very good. It is A, 0. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. Here is your next question. The question says, if we add dash to any number, the sum is always its successor. And your options are A0, B1, C2, and D3. If we add any, if we add dash to any number, the sum is always its successor, which means the answer is one number immediate to the given question. So, what is it, children? Is it 0? No. Is it 1? Yes. So, if we add any number plus 1, whatever answer I get that is its successor. So, here the answer is good. Option B1. So, I guess you guys are enjoying solving the sums along with me. Shall we do some more?